Hi everyone. Today's topic is solving second order linear differential equations using the method of undetermined coefficients. We will first understand what are undetermined coefficients. Then we will cover some basics used in this method and lastly solve some different types of problems. So let's begin. What if we are asked to solve a second order linear differential equation y2 dash plus py dash plus qy is equal to rx where p and q are some constants and the right hand side rx is a function of x. To solve such problems we do it in two steps. We find yg the general solution and we find the particular solution yp. Add the two to get a final solution y. Let's look at the method. The first thing we do is take our right hand side of the differential equation as 0. This reduces it to a homogeneous differential equation. We find the general solution yg of such an equation. You can always refer to my previous video for solving such equations. Next what we do is we assume a particular solution yp depending on our right hand side rx. This yp has some constants which are known as undetermined coefficients. We substitute yp and its derivatives in the differential equation and after comparing the coefficients on both the sides we find these undetermined coefficients. We substitute them in yp then this yp is added to yg and we get our yx. Now, as rx is a function of x, we get different cases. rx can be anything. Let's look at the first case. If rx has terms like e to the power ax, then we assume a yp to be capital A times e to the power ax, where capital A is the undetermined coefficient. We differentiate yp substitute yp and its derivatives in the differential equation, compare the coefficients and find the undetermined coefficient a. Now, it might happen that on substituting yp and its derivatives in the differential equation, the left hand side becomes 0. Then what we do is, we try yp as ax times e to the power ax. And again differentiate and substitute its derivatives in the differential equation. What if again it becomes 0, then you multiply by x square. Or in other words, take yp to be a x square e to the power ax. Alternatively, find the value of the quadratic a square plus b a plus q. Now a we get from the term e to the power ax p and q from the differential equation. If it is non-zero, then a can directly be found by the formula a is equal to 1 upon a square plus p a plus q. If a square plus p a plus q becomes zero, but 2a plus p is not zero, then a is nothing but 1 upon 2a plus p. What if 2a plus p is also zero, then a is nothing but half. What if Rx has terms like sine Bx or cos Bx? So in case 2, we will look at such cases. We take Yp to be capital A sine Bx plus capital B cos Bx. Here capital A and capital B are the undetermined coefficients. We do the same thing. Substitute Yp, Yp dash, Yp2 dashes in the differential equation. Find a and b by comparing the coefficients on both the sides of the differential equation. And if left hand side becomes 0, multiply by x. Again if it is 0, multiply by x square. In third case, we deal with a situation where rx is a polynomial. Let's say rx is of the form a0 plus a1x dash dash a n x to the power n. Then we take yp to be capital A0 plus capital A1x dash 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 
plus capital A next to the power n, where all these capital A i's are the undetermined coefficients. We do the same thing, substitute yp and its derivatives, compare the coefficients, find the a i's. If left hand side becomes 0, multiply by x. Again, if it is 0, multiply by x square. The fourth case, what if the right hand side rx is a sum of two functions r1x plus r2x. Then what we do is we split the differential equation into two parts. First differential equation will be y2 dash plus py dash plus qy is equal to r1x. And let's say that it has a solution y1. Then second one we take as y2 dash plus py dash plus qy is equal to r2x. Let us say it has a solution y2. yp will now become y1x plus y2x. Let's look at the fifth case. What if rx is a combination of exponential and sine or cos terms? In such a case, we take yp to be of the form e to the power ax brackets capital A sine bx plus capital B cos bx. And you repeat the same process as we did earlier. Come to the sixth case. What if Rx is of the form a polynomial into a to the power a, e to the power ax? Then we take a ypx as e to the power ax brackets capital A not plus capital A1x dash dash plus capital ANX to the power n. And repeat the same thing what we did in earlier cases if the left hand side is 0. Let's come to some examples. In the first example, we are asked to solve y2 dash plus 3y dash minus 10y is equal to 6 e to the power 4x. What we do is, first we will take the right hand side to be 0. That will give me a homogeneous differential equation. We will form the auxiliary equation. Here auxiliary equation is m square plus 3m minus 10 is equal to 0. The two roots come out to be 2 and minus 5. You know that the general solution in such a case will be, as these are distinct roots, c1 e to the power 2x plus c2 e to the power minus 5x. This is a general solution yg. Now, as the right hand side has an exponential term e to the power 4x, we'll take yp to be capital A e to the power 4x. Substitute yp, yp dash and yp2 dashes and compare the coefficients, you will get a value as 1 by 3. Alternatively, take yp as a times 6 e to the power 4x. You can see that a is nothing but 4 and p is 3, q is minus 10. So this quadratic comes out to be 18 which is non-zero. So we can directly find a is equal to 1 upon a square plus p a plus q which is 1 by 18. Put it here in yp we will get yp as 1 by 3 e to the power 4x. So y becomes yg plus yp that is c1 e to the power 2x plus c2 e to the power minus 5x. Add yp 1 by 3 e to the power 4x. In the second example we are given the differential equation y2 dash plus 4y is equal to 3 sin x. Take the right hand side to be 0. The auxiliary equation is m square plus 4 is equal to 0. The two roots are plus minus 2i. As these are complex roots, our general solution yg becomes c1 sine of 2x. b is 2 plus c2 cos of 2x. Right hand side is 3 sin x. So we have a sine term here. See, b small b value is 1. So we take yp to be capital A sin x plus capital B cos x. Differentiate yp twice. Substitute the derivatives. Compare the coefficients. You will find a is 1 and b is 0. So the particular solution on substituting a is 1 and b is 0 in yp becomes yp is equal to sin x. Add yg and yp, we get y is equal to c1 sin 2x plus c2 cos 2x plus sin x. In the third example, we are given the differential equation y2 dash plus y is equal to 2 cos x. 
take right hand side to be 0. Form the auxiliary equation, you get two roots as plus minus i. The general solution is c1 sin x plus c2 cos x because we have complex roots and you can see that your this first term is 0, so no exponential term is here. Take yp to be a sin x plus b cos x because on the right hand side we have cos terms. Differentiate and substitute in the differential equation. When we substitute y2 dash and y, your left hand side becomes 0. So we multiply a sin x plus b cos x by x. And now substitute yp and y2 dash, you will get a is 1 and b is equal to 0 on comparing the coefficients of sin x and cos x on both the sides. You can see here, cos x has a coefficient 2a on the left and cos x has a coefficient 2 on the right. So 2a is 2 or a is equal to 1. There is no sin term on the right, so b is 0. There are no x sin x terms on the right hand side and no x cos x terms. Put a is 1 and b is 0 in your yp, you will get yp is x sin x. General solution is c1 sin x plus c2 cos x plus x sin x. In the fourth example, the differential equation is y2 dash minus 2y dash plus 5y is equal to 25x square plus 12. Right hand side is a polynomial. Form the auxiliary equation by taking right hand side to be 0. The two roots come out to be 1 plus 2i and 1 minus 2i. Here your this a value is 1, b is 2. So the general solution of this homogeneous equation is e to the power ax. a was 1. e to the power x, c1 cos of 2x because b is 2 plus c2 sine of 2x. As right hand side is a polynomial, take yp as ax square plus bx plus c. Differentiate twice, substitute, compare the coefficients of x square x and the constant terms you will get a is 5, b is 4 and c is 2. yp then becomes 5x square plus 4x plus 2. Add yg and yp. This is the solution. In example 5, we have the differential equation y2 dash minus 2y dash plus 2y is equal to e to the power x sin x. See, the right hand side is a combination of exponential and sin term. We will First, start by taking right hand side to be 0, make the auxiliary equation, find the roots, they come out to be 1 plus i and 1 minus i. General solution yg to the power x c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. You will notice when we take yp as just e to the power x a sin x plus b cos x, my left hand side becomes 0. So, here we have taken yp as x times e to the power x a sin x plus b cos x. Differentiate twice, substitute in the differential equation, compare the coefficients of your um, both the sides, you will get a as 0 and b as minus half. Put this, the yp term comes out to be minus half x e to the power x cos x. Add yg and yp, we get y as e to the power x, c1 cos x plus c2 sin x minus half x e to the power x cos x. In the last example, we are given the differential equation y2 dash plus 9y is equal to 2 sin 3x plus 4 sin x minus 26 e to the power minus 2x plus 27x cube. You can see right hand side is made up of 4 functions r1x, r2x, r3x, r4x. We will first form the auxiliary equation m square plus 9 is equal to 0. Get the roots m1, m2 come out to be plus minus 3i. General solution of this homogeneous equation will be c1 e to the power, uh, sorry, c1 sin 3x plus c2 cos of 3x. Now, we will form four differential equations y2 dash plus 9y is equal to 2 sin 3x, y2 dash plus 9y is equal to 4 sin x, 
y2 dash plus 9y is minus 26 e to the power minus 2x and lastly y2 dash plus 9y is equal to 27x cube. We will solve each one of them separately. We have already done each case in our previous examples. So in the first one you see right hand side is sine 3x. As we have a sine term, we take yp to be x a sine 3x plus b cos 3x. Without taking the x, my yp and its derivatives were making the left hand side 0. So we multiplied by x. We'll repeat the same process, compare the coefficients. You'll get a is 0 and b is equal to minus 1 by 3. On substituting, yp becomes minus 1 by 3 x cos 3x. Come to the second uh, problem where we have the differential equation y2 dash plus 9y is equal to 4 sin x. Now we take yp to be a sin x plus b cos x because we have a sine term here on the right hand side. When you differentiate and substitute the derivatives, compare the sin and cos terms, you will get a is half and b is equal to 0. yp will turn out to be half sin x. In the third part, see on the right hand side, we have an exponential term. So we have taken yp as a e to the power minus 2x. Differentiate, substitute, compare the terms on both the sides, you will get a as minus 2. So yp becomes minus 2 e to the power minus 2x. And lastly, in the fourth problem, we have y2 dash plus 9y is equal to 27x cube. As we have a polynomial, on the right hand side, we'll take yp to be ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d. Differentiate twice, substitute, compare the coefficients of x cube, x square, x and constant terms on both the sides. You'll get a is 3, b is 0, c is minus 2 and d is 0. So yp becomes nothing but 3x cube minus 2x. Add all the four particular solutions which we've got to our general solution and this is the final solution. Thank you for watching. Our next topic will be variation of parameters. For other topics and courses you can check my website www.profpritivajpayee.com